Hi, welcome back to Good Job Mom. I'm so happy that you have tuned in today. Can I just tell y'all, like, this is not what I'm gonna be talking about today, but I have chicken thawing out for me to make for dinner. Two things, I have no idea what I'm making. And then number two, why didn't anyone warn us about like having to figure out meals every single day? Every single day. Every single day. But when they don't eat all their food, it's like, do you appreciate that I like meal plan and cook for y'all? Man. <laughs> Okay, today we are talking about this saying, we all have the same 24 hours. And I'm here to tell you that I think that frame of thinking and that saying is so annoying, it's trash, okay? We don't all have the same 24 hours. We all have 24 hours, all of us have 24 hours, but they're not the same 24 hours. There's no way that a mom who stays at home with her kids and a mom who works have the same 24 hours. There's no way that a mom of one and a mom of three or four or five, God bless your hearts and more, have the same 24 hours. There's no way that a woman with no kids and a woman with kids has the same 24 hours hours would you like me to keep going i'm gonna keep going anyway there's no way that a woman with kids and family nearby to help them with their kids or a woman who can hire a chef or a nanny or even a babysitter or a housekeeper all have the same 24 hours here's the thing and i'm sure i don't need to lay it out for you a person definitely has to sleep most people have to go to work Unless you're a stay-at-home mom, then you're like kind of working from home. There's no way that a woman who sleeps, wakes up, goes to work, has to drive her kids to a babysitter or to school, and then comes home and has to cook dinner or pick up dinner, spend time with her kids, get in some time to relax for herself, and then go back to sleep and start all over again, has the same 24 hours as a stay-at-home mom who I think as a stay-at-home mom, I'm gonna say that I have a little bit more leeway in my day to maybe tackle some of the things that I love to do. Hello, I'm recording in the middle of the day while my daughter takes a nap, while my son watches a little bit of TV. You know, working mom does not have the, that same type of privilege. Take a, 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 a mom who has a, a housekeeper that comes in. Let me tell y'all, yesterday, I spent my entire day putting laundry away, washing bed sheets, cleaning bathrooms, washing dishes. And when I say washing dishes, I mean my dishwasher did it. I put away the dishes. I went and picked up dinner yesterday. Like there's no way that I have the same 24 hours as a woman who also stays home with one kid, right? Because they're only preparing meals and washing bed sheets for one and you know, if you include her herself, there's no way that I have the same hours as someone who has hired someone to come in and clean their home or maybe meal prep for them. There are all these different scenarios that yes, we all have 24 hours, but we don't have the same 24 hours. And let me tell you why I'm so hype about this topic and it's because when we do this, one, we're comparing ourselves to other people and their lives and their lifestyles and whether they're reaching goals or not reaching goals. So we're comparing ourselves to other people, which you know can be a slippery slope when we compare. Either we feel elevated and better than somebody when we compare or we feel less than. Very, very few times do you ever compare yourself to someone and actually walk away not diminishing someone else and also feeling good about yourself. Like it doesn't usually happen that way. We have no idea what is happening behind the scenes. I might be winning 
in all of these different areas of my life. It's not because we have the same 24 hours. It's, it's what we all do. It's what you and I do with our time. It's how we manage our time. And some of us don't get a lot of time to actually manage. It's all about the time we get left over after we are taking care of everything else around us and what are we doing with that so, time. So listen, we definitely don't have the same 24 hours. If you have been telling yourself this, if you have been using this as a as a means to get yourself motivated and, and get yourself on track, girl, stop doing it. Stop doing it because it's not fair to yourself. Listen, let's stop using this wild saying as motivation. It's not motivation. It's problematic. Let's stop comparing ourselves to other people. We have no idea what's happening behind the scenes. We have no idea what type of help people have or don't have. We have no idea what their day looks like, how many hours out of that day can actually be dedicated to anything for themselves. Let's Take a look at the hours in the day that are just for you. After you've done all the other things that you need to do, take a look at those hours and see how you can sign those hours to help you to live a full, exciting life that is filled with love and peace. Thank you so much for joining me today. I just want you to know, my husband always actually makes fun of me because he knows that I end my videos like this, but listen, for real, you are doing a good job, mom. You are doing a good job. Stop comparing yourself. You don't have the same 24 hours as anyone else. You have the 24 hours that you have.